Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will run the simulation using LT Spice and the KiCad tool and we will try to compare the results. We will try to see how user friendly these two tools are. We will simulate an NPN transistor which would be used as a switch to drive the high load current. The NPN transistor which we would be using for the simulation purpose is 2N2219 which is typically used in switching applications. First, we will simulate the circuit using KiCad which uses NGSPICE as the simulation engine. Click on place symbol icon and click the cursor on the EE schema. This will load the global library component list. Select the transistor BJT and then select 2N2219 transistor and click OK. Place this particular transistor in the schematic. Click on EE schema window. The global library component pops up again. Now, in the filter, search for P spice and then select the resistor. Place the resistor on the schematic and again click the cursor on the schematic. Right click on the resistor and select properties and then select edit properties. Change the reference value as R1 and the value as 1 kilo ohm. Select the orientation as 90 degree. Similarly, right click on the second transistor and change the reference as R2 and the value as 150 ohm. Click on place label, click on schematic and enter the label as BCC. Place another label on the schematic and name this as B1. Next, click on place power port and click on schematic window. From the global library, select the ground and place this on the schematic. Click on wire and connect the VCC pin to R2 and R2 to the transistor Q1. Connect the resistor R1 to the transistor and V1 pin to the resistor R1 from the emitter of transistor Q1 to the ground. Now to place the voltage source, click on place symbol and select the voltage source and place this on the schematic. Place another voltage source for the input V1. Now place the global label for the voltage source which will be V1 and place the global label for another voltage source which will be VCC. Click on place power port and place the ground for voltage source VCC and V1. Connect the pin V1 using the wire to the voltage source and then to the ground. Similarly, connect the pin VCC to the voltage source and then to the ground. 
right click on the voltage source click on properties and change the reference as VCC and the value of source as 5 volt similarly right click on the other voltage source and change the reference value as V1 and click on edit spice model and select the transient analysis as sinusoidal with DC offset value as 0 amplitude as 1 volt and frequency as 1 megahertz make the value as 0 in the reference page right click on the transistor and change the reference as Q1 and click on edit spice model we must select the library file for the transistor 2N2219 and select the alternate sequence node as 321 since KiCad uses different pin assignment. We must place the graphic text to inform NG Spice that we want to perform the transient analysis. Place the text as dot tran 4 nano and space 4 micro. Click on tools and then click on simulator. Run the simulator. Click on add signal. Select v of v1 again click on add signal and select across the r1 and then the voltage across r2 you can see the transient analysis of this circuit we can also check the waveform based on the placement of probe across the various node so click on probe and click on and click on across the various nodes as shown in this tutorial you can see the waveform now to check the current across various node, click on add signal and select the base current and the collector current of the transistor and you can see the current across the circuit. Now we will perform the same circuit design using LT Spice and we will compare the result with the KiCad NG Spice. Click on New Schematic, click on Component and select the NPN transistor. Click OK and place this in the schematic window. Next, click on Resistor and place this on the schematic which will be R1 and similarly we have to place the resistor R2. Now click on the ground and place this ground connection on the schematic. Complete the complete circuit by using the wire so click on wire connect the resistor R1 to the base of transistor and R2 to the collector of the transistor and 
connect the emitter of the transistor to the ground. Next, we have to place the voltage source. So, click on components and place the voltage source V1 and the voltage source V2 on the schematic. Click on wire and the positive terminal of V3 is connected to the resistor R1. Click on ground, place the two ground connection near V3 and V1. Click on wire and connect the negative terminal of V1 to the ground and the positive terminal to the R2 resistor and the negative terminal of V3 to the ground. Right click on R1, define the value as 1 kilo ohm and right click on resistor R2, define the value as 150 ohm. Now right click on voltage source V1 and define the value as 5 volt. Right click on V3 and select the source as advanced and select the sign enter the DC offset value as 0 volt amplitude as 1 volt frequency as 1 meg megahertz and click OK right click on Q1 transistor select pick new transistor and then select 2N2219 Click OK. We need not define the path like we did in the KCAD. Now click on Edit and we have to select the Spice Analysis. Enter the stop time as 4 micro since we are performing the transient analysis and click OK. Place this on the schematic window. Now to perform the transient analysis, click on run and place the probe on V3 node and then between the resistor R1 and the base of the transistor Q1 and across the resistor R2 and the collector of the transistor. We can see the waveform similar to the one which we performed in the KiCad using the NG Spice engine. Now to plot the current across the base and the collector of this particular circuit, run the simulation. Click on V3 node. Go to the waveform right click on VN003. Since we have to plot the current across the resistor, change this to IR of 1. Next, place the probe across the resistor R1 and the base of the transistor. Right click on VN004 and change this to I of P Q of 1 since we want to calculate the current across the base of the transistor. Next, place the probe across the resistor R1 and the collector of the transistor. Right click on VN002 and change this to I of C Q of 1 that is the collector current across the transistor. We can see the plot of LT spice similar to the KCAD. The LT spice and the KCAD uh, are high performance simulation software, and uh, I like to use both. But uh, when we compare 
the LT Spice engine is fast compared to the KiCad and I felt that the LT Spice is much user friendly compared to KiCad but with respect to the waveform viewer of KiCad it is better compared to LT Spice uh, and also uh, in case of LT Spice uh, defining a model of a particular uh, circuit component is much easier compared to KiCad. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope uh, this would give you a better learning experience while using these tools.